You're on. Okay. I'm Rob. Hi, Rob. Me and my girlfriend, Marielle, been digging Herkimer Diamonds for nine years. Nine years where you guys mine these? We mine these at the Ace of Diamonds mine in upstate New York. Herkimer, New York? Herkimer County? In Herkimer County, New York, about seven miles from the town of Herkimer in Middleville, New York. Sweet. They are double terminated quartz crystals, which are a unique form of quartz because most quartz has a single point, whereas these are growing from the center outward, so they have a natural diamond shape. Um, Herkimers were first found uh, when, when white settlers were traveling through New York and they were trading them with the Mohawk Indians. They believed that they were diamonds at first and so the, the name Diamond is stuck. Herkimer is the name of the general who most of the towns name after. He was a general during the Revolutionary War and he thought he was going to get rich off of diamonds. Ah. And the method that we use for mining is to cape notches and drive spring steel by hand and lift anywhere up to two or three ton pieces at a time. What? So that's that's where the value of these these crystals really comes from is the hard work. And the clearer that they are, the higher the value, and of course the rarer that they are. And it's just unique to find anything that has perfect angles, perfect faces in the natural world that just comes out of the ground and as beautiful as can be from day one. And these are some of your stones behind you? And these are some of our stones. Is this this year's mining? This is a combination of this year's mining and some stuff I got from some friends and family. Cool. And, and we like to take the nicest stuff and turn it into jewelry. And my girlfriend Marielle over here does the jewelry making. Marielle's one of the best wire wrapping artists out there right now. <laughs> Love her work. Yeah, that's basically it. The Herkimer's form. I think you showed that one on the Herkimer's on the rock. Ah. Oh, yeah. The, the, fork, the Herkimer's form due to a combination of a mixture with life. There was hydrocarbons in the bottom of the ocean. The stromatolites came in to eat the hydrocarbons. Mm -hmm. They formed into colonies and they left the cavities behind which the Herkimers came in and formed in. And what we're digging through is a dolmitic limestone which is limestone that's been super saturated with quartz so it becomes very hard. And they're slightly harder than most quartz and they're purer than most quartz. So this is at one point part of the ocean floor, it's now been... 500 million years ago Herkimer, New, New York, York was... was the bottom of the ocean. It was a shallow ocean. How cool is that? Now Herkimers are known, there's also something very cool about their size too. Because Herkimers, if say something like this tray here, is a little more common, you would say? Yes. Okay. And then these larger ones, like on this matrix formation, you don't get very often. Yes. They get rarer as they get bigger and clarity... Becomes an issue. Becomes an issue as they get bigger. When, so. when they get about the size of the one I'm holding in my hand, if this were to be perfectly clear, this would be a three or four thousand dollar crystal. Wow. That's a really cool crystal. Whereas I get about a hundred dollars for this crystal. <laughs> That's awesome. Now this is bone breaking work. I heard sometimes guys just take sledgehammers up there and just do the old sledgehammer method. Well, you can sledgehammer quite a bit, but you're not going to get the big crystals. You're only going to get the small stuff. You can break rocks all day like you're, uh, like you're working on the chain game. You just smashing rocks all day and you will find lots of little crystals doing it. But you're not going to find the big stuff. Oh, that's really cool. Herkimers are, are quite an awesome rock. They're something we enjoy very much in our collection. Well, thank you, Rob. Thanks. We like them. Thank you, Marielle. These are you. friends and neighbors of ours on the road, so we always hang out with these guys.